Electrochemistry Introduction Electrochemistry is the study of production of electricity from energy released during spontaneous chemical reactions and the use of electrical energy to bring about non-spontaneous chemical transformations. Batteries and fuel cells convert chemical energy into electrical energy and are used on a large scale in various instruments and devices. The reactions carried out electrochemically can be energy efficient and less polluting. Electrochemical cells If an external opposite potential is applied in the galvanic cell and increased slowly, we find that the reaction continues to take place till the opposing voltage reaches the value 1.1 volt when the reaction stops altogether and no current flows through the cell. Any further increase in the external potential again starts the reaction, but in the opposite direction. It now functions as an electrolytic cell, a device for using electrical energy to carry non-spontaneous chemical reactions. Daniel cell In a Daniel cell, the redox reactions shown above takes place. This reaction is a combination of two half reactions whose addition gives the overall cell reaction. These reactions occur in two different portions of the Daniel cell. The reduction half reaction occurs on the copper electrode, while the oxidation half reaction occurs on the zinc electrode. These two portions of the cell are also called half cells or redox couples. The copper electrode may be called the reduction half cell and the zinc electrode the oxidation half cell. Nernst equation. Nernst showed that for the electrode reaction shown above, the electrode potential at any concentration measured with respect to standard hydrogen electrode can be represented, but concentration of solid M is taken as unity and we have in Daniel cell the electrode potential for any given concentration of Cu to the power of 2 positive and EZN to the power of 2 positive ions. It can be seen that E cell depends on the concentration of both Cu to the power of 2 positive and EZN to the power of 2 positive ions. It increases with increase in the concentration of Cu 2 positive ions and decrease in the concentration of EZN 2 positive ions. By converting the natural logarithm in equation to the base 10, and substituting the values of R, F, and T is equal to 298K. It reduces to the form equilibrium constant. If the circuit in Daniel cell is closed, then we note that the reaction shown above takes place and as time passes, the concentration of AZN2 positive keeps on increasing while the concentration of Cu2 positive keeps on decreasing. At the same time, Voltage of the cell, as read on the voltmeter, keeps on decreasing. After some time, we shall note that there is no change in the concentration of Cu2 positive and Zn2 positive ions, and at the same time, voltmeter gives zero reading. This indicates that equilibrium has been attained. In this situation, the Nernst equation may be written Measurement of the conductivity of ionic solutions Two platinum electrodes coated with platinum black, finely divided metallic platinum is deposited on the electrodes electrochemically. These have area of cross-section equal to A and are separated by distance L. Therefore, solution confined between these electrodes is a column of length L and an area of cross-section A. The resistance of such a column of solution is then given by the above equation. Molar conductivity. Molar conductivity is defined as the conductivity of an electrolyte solution divided by the molar concentration of the electrolyte and so measures the efficiency with which a given electrolyte conducts electricity in solution. Its units are Siemens per meter per molarity or Siemens meter squared per mole. The usual symbol is a capital lambda. Faraday's law of electrolysis. First law, the amount of chemical reaction which occurs at any electrode during electrolysis 
by a current is proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte. Second law, the amounts of different substances liberated by the same quantity of electricity passing through the electrolytic solution are proportional to their chemical equivalent weights. Primary batteries. In the primary batteries, the reaction occurs only once and after use over a period of time, battery becomes dead and cannot be reused again. The most familiar example of this type is the dry cell. The cell consists of a zinc container that also acts as anode and the cathode is a carbon rod surrounded by powered manganese dioxide and carbon. The space between the electrodes is filled by a moist paste of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. The electrode reactions are complex, but they can be written approximately as follows. Secondary batteries. A secondary cell can be recharged by passing current through it in the opposite direction so that it can be used again. The most important secondary cell is the lead storage battery, commonly used in automobiles and inverters. It consists of a lead anode and a grid of lead packed with lead dioxide as cathode. On charging the battery, the reaction is reversed and PbSO4 S on anode and cathode is converted into Pb and PbO2 respectively. Fuel cells. One of the most successful fuel cells uses the reaction of hydrogen with oxygen to form water. The cell was used for providing electrical power in the Apollo space program. The water vapors produced during the reaction were condensed and added to the drinking water supply for the astronauts. In the cell, hydrogen and oxygen are bubbled through porous carbon electrodes into concentrated aqueous sodium hydroxide solution. Catalysts like finely divided platinum or palladium metal are incorporated into the electrodes for increasing the rate of electrode reactions. Corrosion. In corrosion, a metal is oxidized by loss of electrons to oxygen and formation of oxides. Corrosion of iron occurs in presence of water and air. At a particular spot, figure of an object made of iron, oxidation takes place and that spot behaves as anode and we can write the reaction as shown. Electrons released at anodic spot move through the metal and go to another spot on the metal and reduce oxygen in presence of H positive. This spot behaves as cathode with the reaction. The hydrogen economy, carbon dioxide, produced by the combustion of fossil fuels, results in the greenhouse effect. This is leading to a rise in the temperature of the Earth's surface, causing polar ice to melt and ocean levels to rise. This will flood low-lying areas along the coast, and some island nations, such as Maldives, face total submergence. In order to avoid such a catastrophe, we need to limit our use of carbonaceous fuels. Hydrogen provides an ideal alternative as its combustion results in water only. Therefore, hydrogen can be used as a renewable and non-polluting source of energy. This is the vision of hydrogen economy.